everyone, this is Mrs. Medcalf, and today I'll be reading Madeline by Ludwig Bellman. First picture. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine, the smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. The, to the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Pooh, pooh. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of, of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. You can see her down here in the corner. And soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed to, out to the phone. And he dialed, Danton 10-6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed there was a crank. And a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds and trees and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from two to four, said a sign outside the door, tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and they said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far, on her stomach there was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. If you look closely, you can see their faces. They don't look very happy. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. And afraid of disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo-hoo, we want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Thank you.